Hi, welcome to The Small Shed, I'm Peter Lloyd. This week I'm going to be looking at the actual vacuum cleaner part of my new Cyclone setup. And that's coming up next. Well, as I may have mentioned once or twice, or you've seen it in unboxings, I'm not quite sure which, um, I have secured a vacuum to drive the extract system. It's a record power RSDE1, I think. Brand new. I think they retail at getting on towards £200, which would have put a pretty large hole in my £250 budget for the whole system. Um, but I picked one up for £60 and the reason why uh, you will see in a moment. Well here we are, RSDE 1, brand new. Um, I think they retail as I say about £200. In full working condition I've got the, um, it's got the transit clamp on it that I only fit while it's being carried around uh, in transit. It's got the, um, the filter inside it. If you've got the filter bag, but I've used that because I was doing uh, a follow-up to one of Peter Millard's videos that I sent him, uh, and I used the bag off that, so I've got to get some more. Um, and on the face of it, for £60, pretty good deal. The reason it was £60 is apparent when you turn it round. Um, it's the the bin of it is absolutely smashed to bits. It's obviously had a forklift truck or something smash into it while it was in its box. Um, there's nothing wrong with the top, nothing wrong with the rim, but the um, outlet is all broken. The drum is gone. When I bought it, I wasn't quite sure what I was doing anyway, but I figured that for £60 it couldn't really go too far wrong. I've subsequently um, emailed Record to ask them firstly how much a new drum was because the, back at the bottom of it's all smashed up as well um, and a new outlet. I think the drum was about £60 or so and the outlet was another 15 so I could probably still get a working brand new vacuum for about 140 quid and like that. So I think it would still be a saving even at that. Um, but for what I'm doing with it, I actually only wanted that much anyway. Um, because what is happening is that that will be set into the box which will form the top part of the vacuum. And I've just got to cut that off all the way around. That will then be screwed into a, a timber piece, which is the top of the actual vacuum. Uh, I did think it might be able to hammer this out, but I was surprised how much how thick this steel is, it would really take a good bashing I think to get anything like. So that's the starting point, I'm just going to see if I can get this old part off it, I'll just drill the rivets out, take those off, um, and then we'll mark out a line all the way around it, probably do it with a bit of tape or something, and angle grind the top off it. And we'll go
Now the next thing I've got to do is to actually cut a top, um, a hole in a piece of wood for that to drop into and that will form the top of the vacuum part of the uh, affair. I've already planned out roughly each level. Um, that is the idea. There'll be a cart with these aluminium legs up either corner. Um, that is the top of the top vacuum bit. That's the underneath of it. Then there's the top of the baffle. That's the bottom of the baffle. And that's the piece that goes down into the bin at the bottom. So they're all drawn out. All I've got to do now is transfer that circle onto a piece of wood which I've cut six pieces to the same size that will fit in between the four corner aluminium bits. Hopefully then I can, if I need to secure anything, I've got fixing points in each corner then. Now with the vacuum top and bottom finished, all I've got to do now is just cut some, I'll pre-cut some timber to 240 some plywood, uh, which will give me the, the spacing from top to bottom. Just got to cut the sides and two ends and then we're ready to put it all together and that's the vacuum part complete. Well that's the last of the bits screwed in there. I've just temporarily put the lid on. Um, I think I'm going to make it removable purely for maintenance. It's a big enough hole in there I know. Um, but I'll put a rubber seal on I think and then just screw it on. The ring needs sealing in from underneath just to make sure 
there's a tiny little gap there where the outlet hose on the original vacuum was um, right up almost to the top. So there's a little bit of work just to seal those gaps and make sure it's completely airtight. But the and then the other the outlet needs fixing in permanently as well and sealing on. Um, but basically that's the top box complete. Needs a bit of cleaning up. The vacuum will sit on that now. So we've just about returned it to its former state as a vacuum cleaner by replacing the tub with a wooden box. But um, it was really essential that I did that first. I'm in half a mind to keep the clamping ring that is only really there for transit, but it just makes it really solid and holds it all together well. So I'll just tidy the box up, clean the corners up a bit and get some of the glue off and clean the burn marks, scorch marks off there. The saw's burnt it a bit, probably around the edges over. But really that's essentially the vacuum complete. Well that's the easy bit done, I think, the making the box for the vacuum itself. Next week I'll move on to the Thean Baffle and hopefully that will be a bit more of a challenge. And then after that I'll just build a square bin underneath to collect all the bits and pieces of dust and sawdust and chips of wood, things like that, and a cart to run it on which should only take a week to do the uh, the bin and the cart itself so i hope you liked the video if you did please press like and subscribe thank you to all those who've subscribed so far much appreciated and i look forward to seeing you on the next build bye